What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Just Us TV. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you know when we drop our videos. <laughs> Last week, I put out my very first video, and um, it was just uh, something to state what we will be bringing to uh, YouTube, like what kind of content we'll be bringing to YouTube. And um, that would be the normal, the... the um, Challenges, conversations, mukbangs, pranks, so so here and there. Um, what I'm trying to get out is that um, I seen something, or I'm seeing something that's um, disturbing me, which is um, um, my views, my subscribers, and my likes. I got about. Now, I know, you know, it's just the beginning. I'm just starting out. I got to take it slow. I got to, you know, take my time and, you know, get into it. And once um, um, my wife come, you know, I guess it'll boost this up or however it may go. God might, might have some that, you know, like her side. Might have some that likes my side or whatever it may be. But right now, I'm seeing that I got about 70 views off that video that I made. Um... But only 25 subscribers. So, it's not really adding up to me, guys. Um, so, that's if you guys are going across or just switching on YouTube and you see me and you stop. Um, subscribe because it's, I mean, we're going to bring more content. We're going to bring uh, more more things to YouTube. So, um, just give us a chance and subscribe to our channel. Um, like our channel. Uh, definitely turn on the post notifications so that you know when we drop in the videos. And um, um, yeah, just join, just just join our channel. Um, I was going to do a challenge today, but I kind of um, got something else in mind to bring to uh, the YouTube platform today because I know this is kind of like a, a huge platform that I could. You know, bring this to. And as I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to have a little something to eat, you know. So I guess you could call it a uh, conversation slash mukbang. It ain't too much. I got some um, pizza here and some um, wings from Jersey. Um, so we're going to um, eat that and have a little discussion or conversation. What I wanted to have the discussion and conversation about was that there's something going on in the media, um, and it's kind of based off of, um, gotta have a ginger ale too. It's kind of based off of, um, our black community and, um, our young black, uh, men and the police officers in the community. So obviously by saying that, I guess you guys are, you know, kind of figuring out what I'm saying, or maybe y'all seen it, if you're from Jersey, or if you're not, maybe you just heard it in the the media, or it just ain't get too much play yet, or whatever, but it's pretty good. Um, what it's about is these young teenagers that was in a mall, uh, Bridgewater Mall in Jersey, New Jersey. And what happened was, um, well, what caught my eye was that I seen it on the news and then I had to say, wait a minute, let me go, you know, check it out on um, Google or go to YouTube and see, you know, what's going on. You know, because um, we got kids ourselves, so, you know, we... we um, we, we, we be mindful about, you know, stuff going on in the world. And we watch the news anyway just to know, you know, what's going on. But um, I, I went on Google and I typed it up and I seen the whole video. Now, I'm this this is I'm talking about what's going on because this is what I seen and what I heard. It, it's nothing, you know, uh, this is. Not these are not facts. These are not like I I wasn't there. I it's what I seen and what I heard, and um, what I seen was very disturbing. First, I heard that 
there was a black male teenager and a light-skinned male and I think a seventh grader involved and I just kept hearing about this light-skinned teenager right that's all I kept hearing light skin light skin light skin light skin so when I typed it up and I seen the kids fighting I said that kid ain't light skin he's white <laughs> what do you mean um light skin that light skin kid is white so I go in it a little more and I'm watching it I'm watching it and I see them throwing hands right and the part that got me was when they threw the kid when they threw the black kid on the floor and put their knee in his back now at the time you know I didn't know how old the kids were I, I knew they were teenagers I didn't know how old they were. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know what was going on. So after I see the knee in the back, right, I said, oh, no, here we go again. So once I seen the knee in the back, it kind of got me. So I'm watching, I'm watching to the end. And the whole time that they got their knee and this kid back, the light-skinned kid, the white kid, is sitting on the chair watching the whole thing go down like he's just sitting there watching the cop ran over to the black kid put his knee in his back and handcuffed him the lady officer grabbed the white kid and put him on the couch and just left him like that they just no handcuffs no nothing they just left him like that on the couch and continued to arrest the black kid so as they're over the black kid with both of their knees, her knee is in his uh, a higher back part, and the other guy's knee is in his lower back part. And as they're doing that, the white kid, sorry, the light-skinned white kid jumps up, and he walks over to them, and he looks at them like, like, yeah, like, what you gonna do now? Right? Pissing me off. Like, it really pissed me off. Actually, matter of fact, what I'm going to do, see, because this is my first time on YouTube, so I don't know all of, you know, how to put it up on the screen and stuff like that, but I do have this little pad right here, right? So I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the incident myself, and I'm going to put it up so you guys can actually see it. Investigation of how police responded to a fight between teenagers in a New Jersey mall. You, you see, the, boys in you see the, ways. the kid with the, the white jacket on? on? He's black. He the other boy, down. TJ Holmes here with the story. The other boy the that's sitting the down of course, there has been increased focus and attention is white. on disparities in policing in this country over the past couple years. And now many people point to this video you're about to see as a stark, right before your eyes example. Police encounter two teens engaged in the exact same behavior, a fight. One is told to have a seat. The other ends up face down in handcuffs with the weight of two officers on his back. This video shows police breaking up a fight between two kids. But then only one kid is pinned to the ground, placed in handcuffs, both officers' knees on his back. This police response has triggered outrage and calls for the officers to be disciplined or even fired for what many point to as the latest viral video example of the disparity in police treatment of black people. This all played out at the Bridgewater Commons Mall in New Jersey over the weekend when police were alerted to a disturbance. Sounds like that possible fight is the beginning of the bystander so, video show. So that's basically the video, right? So the black kid had the white sweater on and the light skin white kid had the black jacket. Now from what I've seen and what I showed you guys was that, you know, they scrapped a little bit, whatever, and the cops jumping in and putting their knee on the black kid. It has to stop somewhere. That didn't make any type, of, any type of sense. Now, these kids are, the black kid's name was Kai. I think 
think I was no more than 15, 16 years old. Right? And he said the other kid, the light-skinned white kid, was the oldest. The kid that was getting bullied was in the seventh grade. So this white guy, this white kid, this white young man was bullying or a seventh grader. Now I don't know if the seventh grade, I don't know if he's black or white or, you know, I don't I don't know what the case is. My whole thing is, um, me and my wife, we have kids, right? We have boys, and every day, every day, you know, like at any point in time, this could happen to to us. It could happen to it could happen to anybody that, it, and it shouldn't happen. It it shouldn't happen. We are all human, and these are kids. Like these are. These are kids that they're putting their, their knee in. And, you know, it was just, I just wanted to bring it to the platform because, like, it was a, a discussion. And we've seen this Tuesday. Today's Sunday. We've seen this last Tuesday. And from then to now, it's been, like, not too much. I haven't been seeing it too much in the news or whatever, but, um... Just today, as I was getting ready to get on here and talk about it, um, they it, it came up, and um, the mother of the boy and the boy they were talking. Um, that'll be my next video. I'll I'll drop that that next video of the parents talking with the lawyer. I'm not gonna say who the lawyer is right now, but in my next video, you guys will probably see it before than any any who, but. Um, it was, uh, if you want to go to it, you look on Google and it's just type in Bridgewater Mall in New Jersey, a uh, fight, you know, it should come up. It's, it's all on Google, but yeah, my thing was, um, or is that, you know, this has got to stop. Like it really has to stop these, these kids, you know, now I know you know the kids they they're not innocent you know they 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 do stuff you know kid boys especially boys they're gonna boys are gonna be boys right um they're gonna go back and forth they're gonna um you know fight and stuff like that but for two adults to have their knee and one person's back like that is just ridiculous it's outrageous whether it's a, a young black male or a white black male or Asian black male or, or a Mexican, whatever. It, it just, it just has to stop. And, um, as I said, I, I just, I wanted to bring it to the platform because, you know, um, this stuff that happens like this is just, like I said, is, is ridiculous. And again, like I said, you know, we have kids, so, you know, it touches home, when we see stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. Go go look the video up and uh, watch it and uh, drop some comments down below. Um, I try to answer every uh, comment that we get. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to get this video out about that because, um, you know, it, it needs to be talked about and it, it needs to be... It needs it just needs to have a stop to it. Like, a lot of times, you know, if you guys are watching this from another state or another country or whatever, you know, you're not seeing what, what's going on over here as much as, you know, we don't see everything that goes on in other states and other countries. You know, we get little by little, you know, little stuff here, little stuff there, you know, what the news put out, what they want us to know and stuff like that. But this right here is, um, as is a lot of things. But, um, you know, for the cops to think that they're so superior to where, you know, they can put their knee in um, these kids or just, you know, rough them up like they do. And again, like I said, you know, these kids, you know, they got mouths on them too. But, you know, that's for no one to, to you know, put a knee in a child's back, like. I don't know, it's just, it's crazy, so I don't know, I just, that's just what I wanted to talk about today, and 
have a little um pizza and chicken with you guys and you know just talk about that but on another note i don't know about these mukbangs because i can't really talk with my mouth full i've been seeing people do these mukbangs and you know they be getting it in talking and mouth full and i can't do it but we will for you guys as long as you subscribe and like and, and um, drop them comments, turn your post notifications on, and we can do all that stuff together. But for right now, what I ask you guys to do again is to like this video, subscribe to our channel, put a comment down below. And make sure you turn on those post notifications. Because, like I said, um, once we hit a 1,000 subscribers, uh, we're going to do a giveaway. Because, again, like I said in my first video, you know, I think that's what it's all about is, you know, to give back. Um, and that's what we'll be doing, you know, giving back and stuff. But um, for now, I'm going to uh, be out. Until next time, uh, my next video, I'll be sure to drop that, that recent... Um, um, that recent, uh, video on, um, the mother of the boy and the lawyer that they have. Well, we know they got a lawyer. We know what's next, but you know, a lot of times I just feel like, you know, getting these lawyers and, you know, it's not, it's, 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 it's not doing anything, you know, because I mean, they could have did something to that boy at a young age. What if, what if, you know, he wanted to play, he wants to play basketball, he wants to do something later on in life, he may, that may be a problem for him. So, a lot of times it ain't all about, you know, um, suing and getting the people fired. And Well, yeah, we do, we do want to get them, you know, out of here. They definitely need to be out of here because God knows it could be, you know, one of our kids, one of uh, you guys' kids, one of, you know, just any any kid, should, it, again, it shouldn't be done to. So, um, like I said before, uh, share the video, you know, um, make it go viral, make it be known, let, you know, it, it, it just, it, the, it, the situation just has to stop, you know, maybe we could start from over here and, um, I don't know, just, I don't know. I, I just wanted to, like I said, come up here and um, put a video out on it because it was kind of disturbing. And um, actually, that's really it that I have for today. So again, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share it, especially make... If it ain't but one video that you guys share for us, make this one share. Definitely share this one, and um, turn on the post notifications so you know the next time we drop in a video. And maybe I can get that challenge done for you guys. And that's it. We out.